Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Oh my word, I'm excited about today's DIY because it is using these wood dowlings that you can get at just about any hardware store. I will tell you ahead of time, I did not go to Lowe's or Home Depot for these dowlings because I was in a hurry and I was doing a one-stop shop, so I picked mine up at Walmart. Walmart sells them, very budget-friendly, but they are in limited sizes. I can't wait to show you what I do with these dowlings because this DIY is a highly requested DIY. So many of you have been asking and asking and asking for my take on this DIY and I cannot wait to bring it to you. So I am fulfilling this request today and I cannot wait to show you what I do with wood dowling. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into it and let me show you what I have in mind for you using wood dowling. For this DIY, I picked up four of these 36 inch long dowlings, which is three feet long. I got these at Walmart. I paid $1.97 a piece for these. These are three quarters inches in diameter. I also picked up two three packs of these wood dowlings. These are a foot long and they are also three quarters inch in diameter as well. These were in the crafting section at Walmart and I picked these up for a dollar a piece. I'll also be using some twine from the Dollar Tree and this brown and black liquid shoe polish that you can get at just about any dollar store. I'm gonna start off by taking the black and the brown liquid shoe polish. I'm using this as a wood stain because I got them for 99 cents. Like I said, you can find these at most dollar stores, Dollar General's, 99 cent stores. I found these at my Dollar Tree. They work great as a stain. I'm going to start off with the brown and I'm going to completely stain my wood. You can see that this brown has a red undertone to it. Not my favorite color, but when you mix it with the black shoe polish, it makes an amazingly gorgeous walnut brown. And so I think the price is right. You can't beat it. It's a great alternative to stain. And I've had several of you ask me when I do use this method for staining wood, does it rub off? Do you need to seal it? No, you don't. Sealing is definitely an option if it's something that you prefer, but I've never had a problem with this rubbing off. It acts the same as stain, it dries the same, and it's dry to touch, so there really is no residue that comes off on your fingers when you touch it. So now that the brown is covered, we're gonna go ahead and take the black liquid shoe polish and go right over it. In the beginning, when you first apply it, it does look a bit black, but once the wood absorbs the black shoe polish, it does turn into a walnut. And from time to time, I do like to take some of the brown and go over the black just to deepen the color just a bit more. And I'm gonna stain all of the dowling that I'm using for this DIY using this method, which is the four 36 inch pieces and the six one foot pieces of dowling. Once you've stained it all, this is what you should be left with is these four longer pieces and these six smaller pieces. This color is gorgeous and you'd never know it was done using shoe polish. Now I'm gonna glue the 36 inch pieces of dowling together using this clear Gorilla Glue. I'm using this glue because it's what I have on hand. I don't have any wood glue on hand as of right now. This is gonna work perfect. Again, Dollar Tree carries wood glue, so that is another great alternative. I'm gonna set these aside and let them dry overnight so they are good and dried and adhered together. It's been about 12 to 18 hours. My dowling is good and dry. These are glued together. They're pretty sturdy. They are not going anywhere. They are stuck together like glue. Da dun dun Shh. Anyway, if you wanna to go to Home Depot or Lowe's and buy one piece without having to glue them together, that is a definite alternative. I just was at Walmart, the price was right, it was a one-stop shop, so that was why I picked my dowling up at Walmart. 
To cover up the seams of where I glued the doweling together, I'm gonna use Dollar Tree's twine and I'm just gonna hot glue it right there in the center and I'm gonna wrap it around until I've covered up the seam and I'm just gonna make it as long and as thick as I need and want it to be. It really is your preference when it comes to this part. Now taking the one foot dowlings, the twine here in the center, I measured six inches from each side and hot glued the dowlings. The hot glue is not a glue that I expect to stay. It's not permanent, but I measured down all the way down a foot in between each doweling on both sides just to keep the dowlings in place. Then taking my twine, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna reinforce the one foot dowlings that go across by wrapping twine around the doweling and the long post itself. And I'm gonna do this pretty tight. I'm gonna do it to the thickness that I want and then the thickness that I'm happy with. And I'm also gonna do it in kind of a cross way. And this is gonna reinforce and really keep these dowlings that go across in place. And this is what you should be left with. This here really is what's gonna keep these dowlings in place and keep them from moving and allow us to put weight on these dowlings. I did this on all six one foot dowlings on both sides. I did end up adding more doweling to where I connected the two three foot dowlings together because it just didn't look like there was enough. I wanted more of a thicker, heavier look and so I did go back and add a bit more. To decorate this decorative ladder, I'll be using one of these galvanized flower tins that you can get from the Dollar Tree. I picked up five bunches of these lamb ears from Walmart at 97 cents a bunch one of these black hanging mason jars that you can also get from the Dollar Tree, and this galvanized mason jar that I also picked up from the Dollar Tree. Because there's no real ledge on this ladder because I went with using doweling, I wanted to use items that I could hang from it. And to hang all the items, I thought, you know, what better way to hang it than to use twine? The twine is gonna just add to the rustic farmhouse feel of it. And so I did that with the mason jar. I also did that with this flowering pot. I love the way it looks, just tying twine onto each side of the pail and hanging it. I, I really just love this look. I think it adds so much character to this. And so I did that as well with the galvanized tea light holder. And I really wanted to incorporate the galvanized tin look and the black mason jar look all in this together because I just felt like it kind of tied it all into that rustic farmhouse feel and I also wanted to hang a blanket from this as well. The blanket that I'm hanging from this is a blanket by Mark and Graham and this is a blanket that came in my FabFit fun box a couple months ago. If you're interested in this blanket you can find it on eBay right now anywhere from $12 to $18. There are so many different ways that you can make these farmhouse decorative ladders. Using doweling is just one of many. I have seen some unbelievable and amazing creations. Bargain Bethany has an amazing one that she did using Dollar Tree items. I think it was just as budget friendly as the one I came up with today. This farmhouse decorative ladder you can make for under $20 and this is not something that you could buy for that price. So with a little DIYing, you save yourself money and you put your own personal touch on it. And that there is my take on a farmhouse decorative ladder. So many of you have been asking and requesting me to do this DIY. You wanted to see my take on this decorative ladder in the farmhouse style. And so I hope you all enjoyed my take on it and what I came up with. I think that this is definitely a budget friendly version and the outcome, I absolutely love it. It is definitely a piece that I will be keeping in my home because I love it so much. I hope you all enjoyed today's DIY. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because those thumbs up, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.